She's gone. She's gone early for the top bowler, but that's okay. I heard someone say Q Rush, so Rush went. <laughs> I'm stuck on the. Don't worry, Holly's back next week. It's all right. I'm just, it's just temporarily. This is your bit. There are 24 balls inside here. Each one is labelled with a cash prize, which matches the ones on a wheel. Yeah. You may need to back slightly up there, because there's a little mark on the floor, otherwise they can't see what's on here, this direction. Where's the mark? And... Guys, what mark? <laughs> that mark. <laughs> what mark? <laughs> I'm looking for the mark. <laughs> so down here on the floor now is exactly where that trolley has to go. See, when I'm looking for a mark, this is what sort of thing I need. <laughs> not, not the ridiculous thing we That's call a, a mark. That's a big one. So all you've got to do when we bring the trolley in is okay. to find that mark. Okay, okay. fine. Uh, loads of cash prizes up for grabs, but if you don't fancy a spin of the wheel, how about spinning the balls instead? In comes the tombola. Got it today, guys. I've got it. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, do you have anything you'd like to say? No. no. Uh, that's what we thought, and uh, okay. thank you very much. Quite right, Colin. Well, how lovely to to have you sitting on the sofa. So lovely. Lovely to see you back, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because things change as you 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 do the show, then you go away for yes. a little bit, you come back, and then suddenly there's a tombola added to spin to win, which you weren't aware of. No, and I've never done it before, but I did hear a cue rush in my ear in my defence, Barry. So so I wandered over. <laughs> To try and push it to, I don't know, anywhere I thought it should belong. Yeah, Obvi got stuck on the rug. Obviously it got stuck on the rug, manoeuvred, fine, we're okay, don't think anyone saw. And then all I'm hearing is, Rush, on the mark, you just got to put it on the mark. Well, do you think I can find well, the there mark? You go. No, 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 this is, this, this is fantastic. Right, is it there? No, <laughs> I'm just going to move it over there, can I see it? Bearing in mind you're actually on the telly. On the telly. So it's not as if you're trying to do it surreptitiously. Look at him forwards. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? <laughs> so, so that's a bit, that was fantastic. However, as you continue to try and find the mark, in your defence, in, in your defence, in this whole giant <laughs> studio area, the mark you were expected to find... Please tell, yeah, please show them. ...is there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where and it can is. Can we compare it to the size of normal marks? Where's the cross? The cross Look, is over the here. Cross is, sorry, There's Phil. the cross. That's the cross there. Look, there you are. I mean, That's come a, on. That's a much bigger one than this one here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Work. Ian, yeah. Tomorrow that have you got any tape? You got, you got some tape? Yeah. Neon? You just chuck a bit of tape in. <laughs> we'll. Uh, oh, I've got. I've got some, Ian. Uh, do you know what that I've is? Got, greens arrive. What, Green. what colour have you got? Oh, I'll have that one. Oh yeah, massive. Give us the widest tape you can find. <laughs> <laughs> right then. So, so this is uh, this is your mark. This is rush proof for tomorrow, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just so, just uh, so I remember, can you write Tombola on it? <laughs> that is, look, let me, right, and I'm just going to get it just so I can double check if this works. <laughs> Here. Okay, look, I don't think I'll miss it. There you go, that's where it should be. There we go! <laughs> That's where you should be. The show. Well done. There we go. I'm not going to get it wrong now. No. Don't, I, don't what are the odds that that won't be there one. tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> Best bit for a Tuesday. And you know what? Today, mm -hmm. you sense a little bit of something getting back to normality. Yeah, you're so right. Lots of, you know, the sun is out. Everyone feels good. First showbiz guest. Francis Rossi came in. Up. First guest, showbiz guest you could look at yes. eye to eye since... Well, over a year ago. Yes, and being someone that comes in and does fashion a lot, it's so nice to have fashion models in the flesh. 
and dress real life women. Like yep. that's incredible. And we're used to having our um, chefs in mm -hmm. towards the end of lockdown, they were allowed to come in. Uh, but, uh, but today, in a first, you've got John Watt, yes. who's uh, it's got an inspirational story. Uh, life had come off the tracks, um, ended up in prison, uh, got involved with the Duke of Edinburgh Awards mm -hmm. scheme, which, he, as he says, saved his mm. life. Mm -hmm. um, then got onto the path of wanting to become a chef, had a mood board, and that's the best bit, I think. The mood board is so brilliant because you, you feature on that mood board. And obviously one of his biggest, well, the biggest thing I suppose that he feels that was on his bucket list was to appear on this show and cook and I suppose be a TV chef. Yeah. And today he did that. Not only did he do it, but his meal was amazing. Delicious. So delicious. We finished it. And uh, he didn't put a foot wrong. Not Utterly me. faultless, finished yeah. on time. Yeah. And he said before, he said, I'm really nervous. I could not, you couldn't tell one bit that he was nervous. It's not really... very often that when someone's finished an item and then you go to a break that you, the studio gives it a spontaneous round of applause. Yeah. It was nice, nice to happened. do. So well done to him. That's yes. how you turn your life around. And his meal was delicious. Well, thanks for coming out for lunch. I mean, I've had such a wonderful <laughs> day with you. Lunch has been a lovely day. <laughs> This is the best bit about the job. What I'm worried about is the fact that that's gone to my head already. Margarita. Mm. Quite a strong one, too. Mm. It's like rocket fuel. I'm going to be up in a minute. Are you? <laughs> that literally just <laughs> goes. Literally just... <laughs> um, what's your favourite bit of the show? Mm. Oh, I better not talk about my mouthful. Um, lots today. I loved interviewing McKeel. Mikhail Hoosman. From Flight Attendant, yeah. who we have just started that show, haven't we? We were texting each other oh. last night. If you, haven't, if you haven't started watching, it was on the list, and then we found out that Mikhail was on the show and thought, oh, my goodness, let's, let's, do let's it. have a look. Mm -hmm. So we're texting each other saying, are you watching this? Are you watching this? Oh, that's such a oh, good my series. Oh, goodness, mate. Yeah, and, and it's instant as well. It's not one of those where it takes episode four for anything mm. to happen. It's instant. It's funny. It's it's brilliant. So, so good. So that was great to talk to him and he was as good as I'd want him to be, right, yeah. after now and he was in the show. And he was in Game of Thrones. Yes. So, well, I know uh, that you love Game of Thrones and you know I've never seen that. I've never seen Game of Thrones. Sorry. Do you hate me? Not one single episode? Not one single episode. What about Marv? I think Marv, Marv does a lot with that. We, we tend to cheat on each other with, with Netflix and yeah. with series. But, yeah, I've, I've not done it, not one episode. OK, all right. Well, <laughs> I'll see you in a slightly lesser light, but that's OK. <laughs> um, so the, the, the mere fact, anyone who's in Game of Thrones, obviously, you know, I'm thinking, oh, that's got so it's much It's going to be good. Want to talk about. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and your next thing? And then I loved, I loved this whole thing with Cloda, the margarita and the margarita. Mm. Clodagh actually forgot she was on the telly. <laughs> she did. And she told us about her nighttime habits and getting ready for bed and making a risotto. At what point the pyjamas go on and when she's run her bath. Right. <laughs> I don't think I remember how to make a risotto, but I remember what she does of an evening. Yes. Don't forget to feed the chickens. So yeah, it's important. Best bit for a Thursday. And um, it's not often that you sort of have <laughs> some <laughs> food cooked for you outside, a meal cooked for you outside, and actually... As you run back in, you bring it with you. We did. And also, I might say, we're still eating it. The show's finished. It's now cold, but it's still really good cold. <laughs> the other good thing is, there are a few good things about you know, where we've all been and where we've gone through and all that sort of stuff. When you've have, uh, had as much garlic as there is in this, <laughs> Honestly. social distancing is a really, really <laughs> good thing. Because there's no question, we can't get close to anyone and neither are we allowed. We... We really smell. Mm, we really I'm smell. I'm aware. We, we, we're not going to smell it because we're with each other, but masks are probably a really this, good thing. This is the best I can do. Uh, anyone who comes anywhere near me... Uh, when I walk today, through the door, Marv's going to say, whoa, put, put the mask uh, on. Hell yeah, put your mask on. <laughs> and thank you for a lovely week, by the way. Pardon? <laughs> what? Read my lips. <laughs> oh, I think there's a bit of pancetta just spat out inside my mouth. Oh, <laughs>